Welcome back to Data Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at a new CPU cooler. This is from Silentium. This is the 45 dual fan. Um, as it suggests, it comes with two fans. There is a RGB version of that, which I believe it only comes with one fan. Um, this one doesn't have any RGB. Obviously, it does have the dual fans on this. Um, from the box, it's quite big. Um, so obviously, we'll unbox it and have a look, see what it's like. Um, if you want to see the RGB version, my friend over at Welsh Tech's done a video of that. Um, so I'll link that in the description, or I'll put the link up in the corner there for you to go and have a look at. Um, to make sure you check that one out and um, so what we'll do first of all is we'll unbox it see what you get in the package and uh, then we'll install it and um, we'll go from there and we'll sort of do the tests uh, on Cinebench as I normally do and we'll sort of compare it to whatever's in there at the moment which is a 240 IO from Be Quiet obviously I don't expect it to perform as well as that and um, but we'll do a test on that first so we've got a sort of benchmark to run it against and we'll see how well this performs and then uh, obviously we'll give you a conclusion at the end <music> Right, so here we have the Fortis 5 dual fan, as you can see from the box. Um, just have a quick look around the box to see uh, what the uh, specs of it are. Um, six year warranty, that's nice to see. Um, not that anything should really go wrong with a cooler, um, but yeah, I've got that warranty to back you up. Uh, so the specs itself, uh, it's 159 by 144 by 131, if you want to know that to fit in your case. Uh, I don't really need to know about the weight of it. It's 220 watts it's weighted, uh, rated for on the TDP. Um, so we'll see how well it does on the 5900X. Uh, it comes with a 140mm fluctus fan and a 120mm fluctus fan, is that right? Uh, we'll have a look anyway in the box. Um, and then your speeds on your fans are up to 1400 RPM and the RPWM uh, 4 pin as standard. Um, so that's pretty normal. Um, other than that, there's not really much to tell you. Fluid dynamic bearing. Um, the set includes the heatsink, uh, the 140 fan, 120 fan, uh, thermal paste. Um, we weren't using the thermal paste, we're using uh, MX4 because I use that for all my coolers just to keep it sort of the same across the board. Uh, and then obviously your mounting accessories come with it as well. Um, and let's have a look at what it says on the back. Um, so high performance CPU cooling, dual push pull fans, two fluxus fans, extended fan speed range up to 14 RPM, like I said before. Optional semi-passive mode, um, so this is basically they can stop at a low PWM cycle, so they are zero RPM fans, um, so they can stop and keep it really quiet. Um, whether they'll ever go to zero on my setup, I don't know. Um, and then we've got the thermal compound and obviously six year warranty, and it's also multi-socket -so compatible. Um, and we'll see what sort of sockets it's uh, um, compatible with as well once we open it up. So open up the box, first of all, you get your mounting hardware. Um, let's have a quick look in here so you can see what it is compatible with. Um, so in terms of AMD, AM4, AM3+, AM2+, FM1, FM2+. So all the AM sort of AMD major ones that you're going to need. Um, and then let's have a look, see what it says in terms of Intel. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so that's good. So it's Intel 1700 compatible, 1150. Uh, uh, 50 series 2066 and 2011 um, so it basically covers everything you need to cover installation guide there um, might have to look at that we'll have a see and um, see whether we need to or not uh, and i say all your hardware comes in there small uh, tube of thermal paste we won't be using that and it looks like give you tools as well there to help you fit, fit it right going inside the box let's pull out the main cooler itself uh, the fan's going to come out with it wow uh, <laughs> yeah this thing's absolutely huge wow that Right, so it's a massive cooler. Um, the RGB version has like an RGB top on here. Um, so that's obviously the main difference on this. Obviously this comes with two fans. Um, looking at it, it is six heat pipes on this. Uh, direct contact, uh, copper plate there. I'll make sure I take that off. Um, yeah, other than that, there's not really a lot to show you. It's got the Silentium uh, sort of logo on there. You can barely see because it's in black, but it's like sort of shiny on there. Um, yeah, and that's it for that. Let's have a quick look at the fans. Like I say, it does come with a 120 and a 140, so I assume there's a certain way you put them around. And these are the fans, the uh, 140 is going to be the same, so I'm not going to be showing you that. Um, yeah, so these have got sort of these teeth on the edge of the fins here. Um, so quite new, not seen something like that before. Um, they feel really good quality, actually. There's no very minimal hub wobble. Um, obviously, they've got anti vibration pads as standard and a uh, PWM connection. Uh, so yeah, that's all there is to show you on that. Um, let's get this installed and uh, we'll do a test on it. Right, so there we have the uh, Fortis 5 by Silentium PC. Um, and straight off the bat, I can tell you it's absolutely brilliant. 
Um, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with this cooler. Um, uh, a few things to say about it. Um, so in terms of installation, really, really straightforward, really easy. Um, I didn't show it on the video because it's, it's very similar to installing any others. Um, it's a bit difficult, more difficult for me installing it in a case rather than on the motherboard outside the case, which most people will probably be doing. Um, but in terms of installation, actually really easy. Used as a standard AM4 black back plate for AM4, um, and everything screws into that. It makes it makes it really really easy. Um, other than that, not really any complaints about it in terms of that. Um, one thing I will say that I don't like about the installation, and a lot of coolers use it, even be quiet and stuff like that, is the clips to put the fans on. I, I just don't, I just really don't like them. They're fiddly and can be quite awkward. And that's the only thing I can say really about the installation process that I don't like. Um, the fans themselves uh, have a daisy chain on them, so you can plug them both into each other and then basically both into the CPU header. Um, again, makes that really easy for cable management. Uh, the cables are quite long, probably could have been a little bit smaller, but not a problem at all. Maybe some people won't want to run it today, they want to run it somewhere else. Um, so obviously they've catered for that as well. Um, in terms of the cooler itself, uh, one thing I will say is I've noticed once it's installed, and you'll see on the uh, pictures or the pictures I've shown already, um, the fans aren't quite right up against the sort of fins on the cooler. Um, whether that's going to cause any cooling uh, inefficiency, I don't know. Um, but to me, that could be an issue. Maybe they could sort of, uh, the next sort of, iteration of this they could uh, improve that a little bit and make them right up against it so there's no sort of air going to splash out anywhere which i assume is possible um but i could be totally wrong and um, not a problem at all um so anyway performance that's the main thing that you want to know about um it's absolutely brilliant so i tested the uh be quiet 240 pure loop pure loop yeah pure loop um with but it had in my in wind fans on it which aren't quite as fast as the be quiet but i just want to sort of get a benchmark uh, and over the five minute test on cinebench um, we came out of an average of 84 and a high of 87 and um, bear in mind it is really hot in here at the moment it's 25.7 degrees at the moment so it is really hot um so it's not going to perform as well as it should do um so yeah uh, not a bad performance there but then when you go over to this air cooler this fortis jewel with its uh, dual fans it has got a 140 at the front and a 120 at the back um an average of 79 and a high of 82 so it's it's uh it's beat it quite uh quite well actually five degrees difference um so can definitely recommend it in terms of performance um other than that one thing i'll say in the fans themselves um what i would like them like to see from them which they don't do is uh an rgb dual version as well as the rgb version because um, I just think it looked really good with both fans on it, ARGB and the top sort of housing ARGB. Um, maybe they are planning to do that, um, but I would like to see that on uh, a sort of future one. Um, but however, the fans on it do are a sort of normal size, the 140 and 120, so you could potentially change them for your own fans if you wanted to, maybe higher RPM, because these are only 1400, um, and probably get even more performance out of it. Uh, and lastly, the uh, sort of noise level, because it is meant to be a silent cooler, um, it only came to 33 decibels and that's my whole system and i've got all sorts of fans in there i've got about 10 fans in total um so 33 decibels in total and that's at full speed as well um is not bad at all um at the moment it's running in silent mode so most of my fans are off um and the ones on the cooler are still on um but you can barely hear it it's really good um yeah so that's it uh I hope you enjoyed this video and um, hope this uh, gives you an idea of what if you want to buy this or not. I can definitely recommend it. Um, if you want the RGB version, like I said, there is one available, um, but it only comes with the one fan, so it won't perform as well, I wouldn't have thought. Um, but anyway, other than that, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please stick around. I've got more cooler videos coming, uh, more fans coming. I've got case builds coming, uh, headsets, mice, all things like that um, coming very soon. So please make sure you subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.